welcome back to the 2016 Twin Cities Film Fest, hosted by the shops at West End in this beautiful Showplace Icon Theater. I'm your host, Doug Sidney. We're at day 11 of 11, closing night. We've had an amazing run, and Make a wish. we like to save the best for last. So, one of the reasons well, Dominic Reigns is I'm joining flattered. us, I'm it's, hey, not you. only that, <laughs> not only is he, is he starring in our closing, closing night film. He's here with his director, Burn Country. It's gonna be a scorcher. He's got two other films here as well. What's it like joining us having three feature films here? Have you had three at a festival before? Uh, never had three at a festival before, no. This was a uh, first. I had uh, two at Tribeca this year, which one of this, the, the other film, The Loner, is also here. Yep. Um, but I have to say, first of all, um, my, my deepest gratitude to the Twin Cities and the welcome that I, my father and I have received here. Just some of the, the friendliest faces, kindest people that I've had the opportunity to meet. And I, I've, I've literally fallen in love with this place. So, Thank you. That means the world to us. I wish, uh, I wish the fabric of, of, of the love that exists here was um, dissipated a little bit more into the ethos, into yeah. the ether. And, Hey, around the world. You just sent it out there, so <laughs> it can happen, right? So talk to us about these three films here. They are spanning genres. Yeah. Comedy, yeah. drama, action, thriller, suspense, all of these different things. What is it like to be recognized as an actor that can step into all of those genres, pull out the life out of a role? Yeah. That speaks a ton to your ability. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. That's very humbling. Um, you know, I... You know, you always you always hope to expand, and I and I think it's ultimately it's um, I, I, as much as I would like to say that oh I just kind of ended up in this thing. You know, I've always had a deep desire to um, to challenge what I know, to challenge what I believe, to to challenge how I see things, um, to 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 be wrong, to fail, mm -hmm. to make mistakes, and I've noticed that's always opened a door to a, a, a different thing that I I didn't expect. Mm -hmm. It always kind of, you know, and I, and I think that's the beauty of, of this business, uh, more so the beauty of this craft is that it's, there's always an unexpected yep. aspect to it. And I think it's always leaving the, that door open sure. to where anything is possible. And it leads you into all of a sudden doing something that you didn't expect to do and, and, and doing that freely because you're not putting the pressure on, I have to make this work, I have to perform this, I have to make this happen, then it just becomes a kind of, you know, there's, there's, it's, it's the idea of surrender, you know? Yeah. It's, it's we, we have such a deep desire to control where everything is going in our lives, mm -hmm. right? Well, I, you know, it, it's kind of like uh, art is an, almost an imitation of life, mm -hmm. you know, a, a reflection of life. So in, in that sense, it, for me, it was just letting go for a role, is, is, it was almost kind of like, just let go in life sure. and just let it do its thing and take you and it was yep. the same thing here yep. you know people are throwing all kinds of things and you're just trying to juggle it all and experience it all and see where it all goes and that's the excitement not knowing where it's gonna end up yep. yeah incredible reaction so you had a very specific level of self-awareness probably at a very young age how did you recognize that acting could be that outlet for you to feel that free and to, for you know to let go like you talked about that's a lovely question that's a lovely question well, you know, I've been blessed to grow up in a, in a few different places and, uh, and, and come from uh, a country uh, and be born in a country during war. And, you know, I, I, I grew up with two incredible, three incredible people, including my brother, but, the, you know, my mother and my father, um, who never lived uh you know a, a they, they were never sleepwalkers so to speak yeah. you know what i mean yeah. they were they were always you know I, I grew up with a lot of emotion yeah. and we grew up with a lot of challenges okay. you know and beautiful challenges um but that really um you know at times put me right through, like uh, forced me to use my imagination mm -hmm. forced me to have to get out of tough situations forced me to um, have to see things as they were and sometimes even to kind of um, disconnect and just observe. You're giving us a master interview on the craft because you're talking about yourself and your life and your story, but you're talking about the two most important tools for an actor, which are awareness and the ability to observe. Mm. Do you agree? 
I, mean, I would 100% agree with that. I mean, yeah. And you, you weren't even trying to give your audience a, what's going to amount to be a free master class <laughs> on the craft. Dominic Reigns, thank you so much for being here. He's got three films here in the Twin Cities Film Fest. We're going to see him again here because he said on camera that he wants to come back. His Love dad you. said he loves it here too. That's awesome news for us. We're going to be back here on the 2016 Twin Cities Film Fest red carpet. It was a pleasure. Such a pleasure. Thank you.